We're starting lesson 9 and we're going to be adding and subtracting decimals. This is 9a. I've got links to all of the lesson 8 videos and some grade school videos in this description to help you. Okay. To add or subtract decimal numbers, stack them vertically so the decimal points are lined up perfectly. Then put zeros to the right of any numbers so we're adding or subtracting with the same amount of digits. So if we need to add 1 and 32 hundredths to 3 and 4 tenths, we can add a 0 behind this 4, like this, so that we're adding the same amount of digits. That way, when we stack them with all our decimal points lined up nice, everything will add up easier. See that? Now we can add 2 and 0 to get 2, 3 and 4 to get 7, and 1 and 3 to get 4. If we're subtracting 5 tenths, take away 37 hundredths, we can add a 0 behind this 5, like that. And it'll look like 50 take away 37, see? Just remember to line your decimal points up and to put a decimal point in the answer. The answer has the decimal point lined up with the numbers in the equation. See that? When the equation is stacked vertically, the decimal points are lined up. We add or subtract as we would with whole numbers and regroup if, need to, if we need to. So here we have 9 and 28 hundredths plus 54 hundredths, and here we have 9 and 28 hundredths minus 54 hundredths. When the decimal points are all lined up nice and it's got the right amount of digits, we just do it as if it was 928 plus 54 or 928 minus 54. We just have the decimal point lined up in the answer. See that? Here we have 7 and 787 thousandths plus 92 hundredths. We add a 0 here to fill in that place value. And we can also do subtraction with the same numbers and fill in a 0 for that place value. It's just as if that decimal point wasn't there. Just make sure that it's in the answer coming straight down with the other ones, okay? We can add several digits together. If it's written all going out like that in sentence form, we can stack them and line up the decimal points and just add them as if we were adding regular numbers, regular whole numbers. And remember to put the dollar sign into the answer. Okay? If it's not there, it's considered wrong. We just add this as if we would whole numbers. Okay? Even subtracting $8.27 from $20, we just rewrite this as stacked vertically with the decimals lined up and remember the dollar sign and we would do it just as if it were whole numbers. Okay? with regrouping. Again, now if you look at this one, it's got 187 thousandths on the other side of the decimal point, and that's only 7 tenths. We can add two zeros. If we needed to, we could add three, four, five, six zeros. Whatever we need to make it so that they have the same amount of digits. Okay? Then we could subtract, and the zeros will help us. See? We group, regroup as if it was just a regular whole number. Okay? Here we've got 180 and 426 thousandths, and we're only taking away 7 tenths. We stack them. We add zeros to the 7 tenths to make it 700 thousandths so that they have the same number of digits on this side of the decimal point, and we subtract as we always would with whole numbers. Okay? We can regroup and borrow. All right. Now we just have 2 and we're going to take away 6 ten thousandths. So we can add all these zeros to the other side of a decimal point for the 2. Stack it, line the decimal points up, and subtract just like we normally would. All right. Regroup. Be careful with calculators. 
This sum would appear as 17.5 on a calculator screen. You have to remember the dollar sign and money has two digits here. Okay? It's got a tenths and hundredths. All right? So when you do addition or subtraction with a calculator and it deals with money, remember that there's supposed to be two digits there. Okay? You can put a zero there as a placeholder. So now you should be ready to do the skill focus on page 113. And it wants you to do 1 through 16 on paper with paper and pencil, and then you can do numbers 17 through 22 with a calculator. So give yourself a chance. Do 1 through 16 with paper and pencil to give yourself more practice, okay? There's going to be links to these grade 5 and grade 6 math videos and to all of Lesson 8 that we've done in this playlist so far. So check the description, okay, if you need more help. And our next video is going to be multiplying and dividing decimals. And we're going to get into some long division with decimals. So make sure you understand how to do the addition and subtraction before you move on, okay? All right. Keep going. I think you'll be fine. And... If you need any help, just mention it in the comments section, all right? I'll see you next video. Have a great day. Bye.